So now in this video we're coming back to my 555 timer voltage doubler circuit. So we are not actually getting double the voltage for a number of reasons. But uh, the main thing to be aware of is that we have a 5 volt power supply. So if you want to get close to 10 volts, one of the ways you can do that is by using capacitors to get a voltage doubler. Now we can see at the output here, that is channel 1 right there. And uh, that's probe uh, plugged into channel 1 yellow line and then the probe over here plugged into channel 2 that is the green line so first off we have a channel 1 it's fallen shy of 4 volts and it's even worse when it needs to provide the most uh, current uh, so uh, you're lucky to get 4 volts with the NE555 timer output in a lot of cases so now we got uh, 5 volts there and you can see up to uh, 6 volts there we're getting a spike and you'll notice that is when the LEDs light up so this uh, basically four volts. Let's uh, let's zoom in. So to begin with, we have uh, when the output is low because this is a five 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 timer in a stable mode. Large capacitor though, uh, it's very slow timing. So we're just getting pulses now. Later on, we'll replace that with a smaller uh, capacitor, and we'll see a steady light. So in any case, when the output's low, so connected to ground, we have a diode here, and it's uh, wired to conduct uh, in that direction gray band up there the capacitor will charge to about four volts because or, uh, it'll charge uh, to more than four volts uh, we got the supply voltage minus a diode I mean sorry about that then when the output goes high uh, we're gonna have positive here so it's negative positive for the capacitor that means we got power supplies in uh, series the uh, breadboard power supply but it's losing about a volt and then the voltage that the capacitor has the current that's stored in there will flow into this capacitor so this capacitor is just storing the charge and uh, so it builds up a voltage when it stores charge right there but it's parallel with this load so when you see these LEDs light up that's the uh, capacitor charging or powering I mean the load right there and uh, so when we get that pulse we have a high enough voltage you need about six volts they they will light up a little bit at five volts that's when they're dim but you need about six volts to really get them to light up and there you can see voltage going down they're getting dimmer until we get the next pulse right there so that is with this uh, large value capacitor 100 microfarad and uh, right now this is just rapidly oscillating the uh, 555 timer I think it's due to uh, the internals of the 555 but I think uh, uh, we're perfectly fine uh, doing that now I'll plug in this uh, 10 nanofarad uh, capacitor and so it's rapidly oscillating now uh, we're not going to look at uh, that waveform it's the same waveform just a whole lot faster right there the main thing is you can see a steady uh, voltage at the uh, capacitor there that is holding the charge for the load and you can see the LEDs are on uh, pretty much steadily right there uh, we got a steady voltage there. so we're not getting to uh, the maximum voltage let's look at the maximum voltage when we ink that so having to provide current uh, lowered uh, the voltage now there's no load we're getting about 8 volts it looks like right there uh, but uh, the current that the load needs is dragging it down uh, quite a bit um, so we could improve this uh, a lot of ways but uh, for this demonstration video I think this is good enough so hope you enjoy make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.